Hey guys, Aubrey here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Grade 5 Module 4 Lesson 4 homework. So let's get started. Number 1. Draw a tape diagram to solve. Express your answer as a fraction. Show the addition sentence to support your answer. First one is done for you. So first one, they had 1 divided by 4, which is 1 fourth, 1 over 4. So they drew the 1 divided into 4 pieces. So it's saying 4 units is equal to 1. 1 unit is 1 divided by 4, which is 1 fourth. And they checked their work using long division, and they multiplied it and everything. Alright, so B, 4 divided by 5, 4 divided by 5. So our whole here would be 4. And we're dividing by 5, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So here we have 5 units, and 5 units is equal to 4. And 4 units, oh no, not 4 units. 1 unit here is, um, 1 unit is, 4 divided by 5, which is 4 over 5, 4 fifths, so 4 over 5. And our long division, 4 divided by 5, 5 to 0 times into 4, minus 0, 4 left over, so our answer is 4 fifths. And check our work, All right, check, 4 fifths, alright, so... Let's see, we do 5 times 4 fifths, that's 4 fifths plus 4 fifths plus 4 fifths plus 4 fifths plus 4 fifths, 5 times. That's 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, plus 20 fifths, which is 4. So that is our original number, so our answer matches up. Alright, C, 8 divided by 5, so that means our whole is 8, and we're going to divide it into 5 pieces. So, 5 units is equal to 8, because 8 is our whole. Then 1 unit is 8 divided by 5, which is 8 over 5. Long division, 8 divided by 5. 5 goes 1 time into 8, minus 5, 3 left over. So 1 and 3 fifth. You can also write that here. And to check our work, um, we do 5, yeah, here, 8. Where is it? Where are we? We do 5 times 1 and 3 fifth which is 1 and 3 fifths, plus 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 1 and 3 fifths. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, plus 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, or 5, which is 5 plus 3, which is 8. So our numbers match up. All right, D, we have 14 divided by 3. That means our whole would be 14 divided into 3 pieces. That means 3 units is 14, because that's our whole. So 1 unit is 14 divided by 3, which is 14 over 3. And our long division. So we 14 divided by 3. 3 goes 4 times into 14. Minus 12, 2 left over. So that's 2 thirds. 4 and 2 thirds. So for the check part, we just do 3 times 4 and 2 thirds. That's 4 and 2 thirds. Plus 4 and 2 thirds. Plus 4 and 2 thirds. 
4 plus 4 plus 4, that's 12, plus 2, 4, 6, 6 eighths. Wait, hold on. Oh, so where did I get 8? It's 3. How does that look like 8? 6 thirds, which is 12, plus 2, which is 14. All right, next page. Number two, fill in the chart. The first one is done for you. All right, so this is kind of like the previous lesson, I think, or one of the last few lessons where we had a chart. So let's see, B, we're given the fraction three fourths. So our division problem would be three divided by four, three divided by four. And three fourths is not even one. So it's between zero and one. And our long division, we would do three divided by four. Four goes zero times into three minus zero, get three left over. So it's three fourths. All right, C, seven divided by two. So um, seven over two, let's see the long division first. 2 goes 3 times into 7, minus 6, you get 1 left over, so 3 and 1 half. That means this number is in between 3 and 4, because it's more than 3, but less than 4. Alright, and D, 81 divided by 90, because 81 divided by 90. So you stand at algorithm first, 1 divided by 90. 90 goes 0 times into 81. So it's 81 over 90. And that's not even 1. So it's in between 0 and 1. Because it's more than 0 but less than 1. Alright. In our final page, for 3, Jackie cut a 2-yard spool into 5 equal lengths of ribbon. A. What is the length of each ribbon in yards? Draw a tape diagram to show your thinking. In yards, all right, so. Our total, our total is two, because we have two yards. They're split into five equal pieces. So what's the length of each ribbon? Two divided by five. Five units equals two. Then one unit equals here two divided by five is two fifths. So that means each ribbon is two fifths. Yards. All right, B is asking, what is the length of each ribbon in feet? Draw a tape diagram to show your thinking. So in feet, we know there in each yard, there are three feet. So if we have two, then two yards convert to feet, multiply by three, that would be six feet. So our tape diagram would now look like this, six feet, and it's still being divided into five pieces. So five units equals six, then one unit is six divided by five, which is six over five or one and one fifth. So that means each ribbon is one and one fifth feet. All right, number four. Ba Ba, the black sheep, had seven pounds of wool. If he separated the wool equally into three bags, how much wool would be in two bags? All right, seven pounds divided into three bags. Right, 
tick diagram. Total of seven divided into three bags. So three units is seven because that's our whole. So then one unit is seven divided by three here, which is seven over three. So seven over three or two and one third. So two and one third is in each bag, but it's asking how much is in two bags. So two and one third plus two and one third. That's two plus two is four plus two thirds equals four and two thirds. So that means four and two third pounds in two bags. All right, now number five. An adult sweater is made from two pounds of wool. This is three times as much wool as it takes to make a baby sweater. How much wool does it take to make a baby sweater? Use a tape diagram to solve. All right, so our adult, A for adult, say this much is two pounds. But then our baby sweater is only this much. And we don't even need this part really. This is the baby sweater. The adult sweater is three times as much, takes three times as much wool. So to find out how much it takes to make a baby sweater, we need to divide by three because this is two pounds of wool. So we just get two over three. That means it takes two third pounds of wool for a baby sweater. So yeah. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps and please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel. See you next time. Bye.